Former Brexit Minister Lord David Frost, architect of Boris Johnson's Brexit deal, has delivered a stinging rebuke to Ursula von der Leyen, branding her European Commission profoundly depressing. Lord Frost also took aim at former Prime Minister Gordon Brown as he lambasted a shared set of ideas which he claimed had resulted in the attitude that the nation-state doesn't matter. Writing in the Daily Telegraph, the prominent Brexiteer said for 20 years or more, political discourse has been dominated by a shared set of ideas, with the state guiding life through both tax and regulation and that economics is best done by technocrats. He added, on top of this come the beliefs that the nation-state doesn't matter, that a passport is a flag of convenience not a statement of national identity, and that a country is nothing more than the people who happen to be on its territory at any given moment, whatever their loyalties and however they got there. I personally find this whole worldview, the intellectual world of Gordon Brown, of Davos, the IMF, the European Commission, and virtually everyone who has been in power in Britain in recent years, profoundly depressing. It assumes there is only one way of doing things and that moral autonomy and individual beliefs do not count. He added, Liz Truss and her team are rightly refusing to be mesmerized by this orthodox wisdom. But the establishment doesn't like it and moves rapidly to stigmatize heresy. Suggest that the Bank of England hasn't got everything right and you will be told, as by one member of the Monetary Policy Committee, Michael Saunders, that the foundations of the UK monetary policy framework are really important, and best left untouched. Suggest, as the Attorney General did this week, that judges on the ECHR don't always get it right, and you will find yourself told by George Perrett's QC that you are dealing in crude civil law versus common law stereotypes that seem to be prevalent in the hard Brexit, anti-ECH 